Welcome to the Rhoda Wilson Show, keeping you informed, entertained and educated. My name is Rhoda Wilson. I'm truly excited about this new series because we've got wonderful guests, interesting topics such as health, wealth, the environment and of course we've got a new segment in my show called The Kitchen which is all about cooking. So I hope you stay with me for this next series and also stay with me today and I'd like to introduce my guests, mother and daughter. Alison and Naomi. <laughs> Thank Hello. You. Welcome Hello. to the Rhoda Wilson show. Thank you. Alison. You two look so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they? They look absolutely gorgeous. Can you believe this is the mom and that's the daughter? Can you believe the absolutely, absolutely wonderful Alison and Thank Naomi? You. Alison, obviously we're doing this series because it's part of our, our Mother's Day uh, series. Mm -hmm. And I suppose we just wanted to have a chat about, you know, your relationship with Naomi. And before we do, though, tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, when you had Naomi and, you yes. know, just the, yeah. Yes. Well, I had Naomi at a very early age. Yes. Um, I was a young mom, but um, I think that I've been very blessed to have Naomi. Yeah. I think she's a beautiful, beautiful You're not lady. saying that because she's sitting next to you. No. Right? I, no. <laughs> I always say that. Yeah. Um, yes, um, it wasn't easy in the earlier days, mm -hmm. but you know, t as time has gone on, yeah. we've grown together yeah. and, you know, things have, are really good. We've had, we have a very good relationship. Yeah. You know, I, I advise her and she advises myself. So it's just a very, very good relationship. And now you're a model, you're a super, a super model. You could be a super model, Yes, she's a super model. I tell you, doesn't give up. She's a super model, really, you know. <laughs> Naomi, you're a model, you know. Yes. And, you know, how did you get into, into modeling? Um, well, my mum used to model herself. Oh. So then she got me into children's modeling. Yeah. And um, I've just sort of done it growing up. Um, just recently did a shoot for Marks and Spencers, Spencers. actually. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it was a generation thing, so it was myself, my mum, and also my grandmother. We no. Yes, right. Oh, yes. gosh, that is yeah. great. When would that be out? Do you know? Did um, say yes. May, May, June yeah. 2009 issue oh, of wow. Marks and Spencers. Oh, yes. well, that is exciting, yes, isn't right. it? Yes, very much so. Gosh, that is great. Alison, when, when, I mean, obviously, when Naomi was growing up, was, was she growing up here in London or in the UK, or was she, I mean, were you predominantly here in, in yes in okay. London we live in South London okay. so she grew up in London um, and yes everything was really good I mean compared to when Naomi was growing up compared to today's kids where what have you seen what are the differences you've noticed that you probably look so grateful that Naomi was born oh. then as opposed to now that's right I, I do I mean I see a, a great difference and I think a lot of it is um, that children are very unruly now and not disciplined enough. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'm, I'm not exactly sure the reasons why, but you know, Naomi was brought up in a in a, a good environment, mm -hmm. and I was always there to to nurture her. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I'm not quite sure what's happened today with the children. But well, you were working as well, weren't you, when Naomi was growing up, or were you a stay-at-home mom? Um, I stayed at home until a certain age, yeah, until about mm -hmm. twelve. Yeah. So. That may well have helped also. Yeah, because I've always said that, you know, when as a mom, if you're home at an early age with a child, it actually, you, you're able to nurture the child That's properly right. Absolutely. and yes. therefore you can guide them, guide them. better. Right. And when they get to that teenage years, I suppose it's easier then for you to, for them to come to you if they have any issues or any questions or yeah. any worries at all That's to right. come to you and actually ask you questions, which we don't have these days, no, do we? No, I, I agree. I just feel that children are a bit wayward and mm -hmm. you know even when I was growing up there was just a lot more discipline yeah. even within the schools I just feel that you know teachers they don't tend to be able to tell the children off and mm -hmm. it's you know it's a lot there's no discipline anymore but what do you think would probably I suppose I'm just trying to think what is the what kind of hopes and aspirations you have for for Naomi well um, you know, Naomi does a lot of the things what she wants to do, and I just tend to, um, well, how can I say it? I just, I'm just there for her. Yeah. So, you know, if she needs advice, then she mm. comes to me for advice, yeah. and uh, I'll give her as much advice as I can. Oh, that's yes. nice. Naomi, what is your mom like, really? She's saying all these nice things about her. You don't have to say nice things back about oh, her, you know. Yeah. You don't have to say that. So tell me, what is she like? What can you remember of your mom when you were growing up in an early age? Um, my mom has always been my best friend. You know, anything we can talk about, absolutely anything. Yeah. She gives great advice. And also vice versa. Yeah. You know, she comes yes. to me and be like, oh, what do you think right. of this? Yeah. Or, you it's know, true. whatever. Always very supportive. So couldn't really ask for anything better, really. Oh. I mean, Naomi's yeah. just been a model child. I, that's, I, I, I can't be <laughs> <just, laughs> You know, I, I've been asked this question, and maybe, again, like I said, I've been blessed with her, but yeah. she's, 
she's just been a model model child. Mm. But Naomi, when you look at yourself compared to your peers, would mm -hmm. you say that you're really, really fortunate or do you think that, oh? Um, yes, I think, I would, yes, definitely. I mean, I've come from a very loving home mm -hmm. and obviously not everybody does have that. Yeah. Um, but growing up, I wasn't so much a child that would go out and, mm -hmm. you know, be on the streets. I just, that just didn't really appeal to me. So yeah. I never got caught up in anything that was out there. Yeah. So, um, but what, what message would you give to young people of nowadays? Because you read the me, you know, you, you open, the first thing you open the uh, newspaper, you see a black boy being stabbed. Mm -hmm. You see all this negative press. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a young person and having lived in a loving uh, home, what message would you give to the young people? It's about having respect, mostly mm -hmm. for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and treat people how you want to be treated. Because I'm sure if, you know, they go out and speak to someone a certain way, they wouldn't like it if they were spoken to in that way. Yeah. Or, you know, if a guy treats a girl in a certain way, they would still be being treated like that. Yeah. It's just about having mutual respect for people, really. That is great. Mm -hmm. And what makes a relationship special? Because you're so close. <laughs> Ladies, can we see this handbag? I have to show you the handbag. <laughs> this is a mother and daughter. We're just going to get the handbag in a minute. Just you wear. This is how close they are. Seriously? Oh, my God. They have got handbags. See me handbag. This Thank is you. it. Can you, this is how close Mine's they are. Big. Which one? <laughs> Because you probably carry your kitchen sink in there, exactly. don't you? That's right. The mother's always leaving yeah, the kitchen sink. Oh, that's great. So do you reckon that you two might go into business? Do you think you might we go into business? We have discussed that, that a lot. Yes. That's right. Because lot, so. your, your relationship is so special. Be ashamed yeah. to just keep it the way right. it is. Because you need to like maybe nurture it and into a different take it to a different level of you course. know yes i yes. mean because at one point i was um organizing beauty competitions because oh. i used to do modeling yeah. when i was younger myself yeah and then i decided to organize competitions and help other models yeah you know get into the industry a bit more but naomi actually used to come to some of the rehearsals so she? she used to teach mm. some of the models as well because obviously i taught her maybe how to compose herself and poise and you know how to walk and things so that would um, be good Alison yeah. do you know why because one of the things we're discussing um, as well um, recently is the fact that you don't often get to see black models in the mainstream right. mm -hmm. magazine which is a shame mm -hmm. it was only recently that uh, Michelle Obama was put on That's the right. Vogue well, magazine mm -hmm. in the yes. States and I was like wow and she's the second Amazing. only second woman to have appeared, it's not a second woman, second, yeah, president. President wife. Oh, yes. president's yes. wife to have yes. appeared, because you have Hillary Clinton. That's I right. think she was the first one, and then her. her. But right. it's been nice to see more black no, people on, right. yes. on, the, on, the, on the page, but why? Um, I, I, that I can't, I don't know, mm. you know, because I think a lot of models, black or, you know, um, people of colour, have gone to America or gone to, gone to other countries, maybe even Europe, Europe or France, yeah. because they feel that they have just been stopped in this country. Mm -hmm. They haven't been given an opportunity to go forward for auditions and, you know, just to go somewhere within the industry. And it's mm -hmm. just hasn't been fair. So it's like, you, you know, they've been gone to America and maybe got Compared much to, further. Yeah. But um, with Naomi, I've just tried to um, still deal with it in this country. Yeah. You know, the, how, how we actually got the shoot the other day with Marks and Spencers is that mm -hmm. I went to the top. I just Hello, I tell you, she's a lady to know. Make sure that you contact me and I'll tell you all about that. I went yeah. straight to the top yeah. and um, I got a phone call and uh, we were asked to come for an, you know, a little interview. Mm -hmm. And um, basically they made a decision there and then. But this is great, yeah. you know. I meet people that tell me that it's very difficult as a black person to actually get people like, especially as big organisation as Max and Spencer, to recognise mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. But it can be done. That's Absolutely. right. You, could, and you have to be positive, obviously. Very positive, yes. yes. And you, sometimes it is just go straight to the top, yeah. bypass mm -hmm. the middle person and yeah. just go straight to the top. And I plan on doing a lot more with Naomi because I think that she, you know, she, she represents the face of the people in this country. I totally agree with you. And don't forget mm. us when you become super famous, you know. <laughs> just remember, you saw her here first. She's been on this couch. And now I can show your pictures. Can you remember this is me? And you <laughs> because one of the things I was also saying as well to friends the other day is that I blame the reason. I may be totally wrong and I always stand corrected. I kind of, I couldn't help to blame Naomi Campbell for some of the, I think, for some of the ill fates that actually happened to a number of the black women in the, in the uh, model industry. Because I felt that when she was in the power position to actually promote women, black women, she didn't do it. Yes, yes. And I think that was so, 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 so 
wrong of her. Mm -hmm. And now she still, I don't know about, I'm stand corrected, but I don't think she does enough still to today to actually promote black women's faces, especially here in the UK. We've, I mean, there are two generations or three generations of most uh, uh, black communities now, for, especially from the Windrush, right. the Caribbean uh, uh, families that came here to build the railways 40 or 45 years ago. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we need more black faces. That's you know, right, we represent. do Representing uh, our community, representing who we are. The Asian have their Asian magazine. They're always in the black, and always a mainstream magazine. So we need more. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I no? agree. No, yes. so we're putting this on you, Alison. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll try my no, hardest. So, so this <laughs> right, this we'll do what we can. can. Yes, <laughs> no, you said to that, that's it. Tomorrow, we're going to start. No, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. <laughs> Next week, as soon as possible, we're going to start. Set. And people can obviously, you know, I hope it does grow because it would be nice to get some more, you know, especially not just the women as well. I hope you're looking at across board. Of yes, course, that's definitely. right. I mean, people do come to me for advice. So, you know, um, I, I give my advice as yeah. much as I possibly can. Yeah. And funny enough, um, people go to Naomi also for mm -hmm. advice. Really? Yeah, yeah, I hope these are free as well, you don't charge. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. don't, no, yeah. 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 we don't yeah. Yeah. But you become super, super famous, you know, you, know, you, you can charge. Do you see yourself growing beyond the modeling side of things into maybe other areas or is this not something you've, you know, yes. contemplated? I, I, yes, I don't think we'd focus purely just no. on modeling side of things at all. Yeah. Um, but also it, it will help people just build their confidence. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things about young girls now, a lot of lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, just to even come to a modelling school, yeah. it's just right. to build, you know, themselves. So, yeah. It's just like such a great thing. That's yeah. right, just the way, you know, um, young ladies might carry themselves nowadays Absolutely, because yeah. of the, the, the fashion, mm -hmm. for example. You know, things are very sort of, you dress down, you mm. tend to dress down now yeah. and not yeah. be as Very elegant or boyish. as yes. As it used to be, yeah. yeah. But we'll continue now because okay. we go, don't go away because I really want to ask you a lot of questions in terms of how people can actually, you know, because it's just not about modeling. You can actually mm -hmm. dress yourself, prep yourself, up, you That's know, just right. to look good and presentable. It's just about appearance as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. So we'll come back, don't go away. We're going to take a break. We've got a lovely Naomi <laughs> and we've got Alison here with us on the couch. So we'll see you shortly.